This method of measuring the distance uh, to stars or galaxies is called the Cepheid variable method. And it's one of the methods you can use alongside parallax to measure how far away a star or galaxy is. Uh, before we start, we just need to have knowledge of the definition of luminosity of a, of a star. Luminosity is the power output uh, of a star or galaxy. So it's the amount of energy it gives out per second. So it's measured in watts. <clears throat> and you can think of luminosity, if you like, as the true brightness of a star. But technically, it's the power output in watts. Alongside the luminosity, we have the observed brightness of a star. So when you look at a star in the night sky, uh, you can observe how bright it appears to be from Earth. So it's how bright uh, it appears from Earth. So um, if you take, uh, for example, the sun, the sun has a very high observed brightness because it's very near to us, uh, whereas something like Polaris, the pole star, um, has a much lower observed brightness, presumably because it's much further away. Um, so these two ideas, the luminosity or the true brightness and the observed brightness, are a way that we can start to think about the distance that the star is away. So for example... If I have a star, there's my star, and there is the planet which I'm observing it from, let's say it's Earth, and then there's a distance between the Earth and the star itself. Now the star has a luminosity, its true brightness or its power output, and it has an observed brightness, how bright it appears from Earth, and then there is the distance that separates the star and Earth. Now these three factors all interact with each other in as much as the observed brightness of a star will decrease as the distance gets bigger. So if we had a situation where a star was much nearer to Earth, like so, at star 1 and star 2. If star 1 and star 2 had the same luminosity, i.e. they were the same brightness, or they had the same power output, then star 2 would appear much brighter from Earth because it's nearer. Um, so we can have an idea of the distance a star is away by comparing the observed brightness of the star. Now, if all stars were the same brightness in the night sky, if they all had the same luminosity, I should say, then it would be very, very straightforward to work out how far away they were because we assume they're all the same brightness, therefore the brightest ones must be nearer, the dimmer ones must be further away. But unfortunately, not all stars have the same luminosity. They've all got different luminosities. So if I saw two stars in the night sky, and I represent the brighter one, the bigger blob and the dimmer one, the smaller one. This one could be very near to us and this one far away. Or it might just be that this one is a very dim star that's close by and this one is a super bright star that's a long way away. So just using the brightness of a star to estimate the distance does not give us uh, a very accurate picture. But if we go back to this idea of the luminosity, the distance, and the observed brightness being related to each other, uh, they're related to each other uh, by what's called the inverse square law, which effectively says that the energy reaching the observer diminishes as... 1 over the distance squared. And because that's a mathematical relationship, you get a graph, something like that, for the observed brightness versus the distance. 
then we can start to use the maths to work out how far away a star is. So this Cepheid variable method <clears throat> is really a way of trying to find out the true luminosity of a star. If we know the true luminosity of a star, the true brightness of a star, and then we measure its observed brightness, we can use this relationship to find its distance. So the Cepheid variable method of measuring the distance to a star all depends upon knowing the luminosity of a star. But the luminosity of a star is really hard to find because you can't just go and visit the star and work out how bright it is. Uh, so the method itself is all about how did someone come up with a method of measuring the luminosity of the star. And that's going to be in the next video.